Good morning. It is April 5th. It's Monday. Um, well, this weekend was a bit of a, an, an X on the calendar. How did your five and one go? Um, so, you know, I went to Easter. I had my little plan, but we haven't actually had a major holiday with all of my family in over a year. And uh, yeah, yeah, I definitely got carried away. Um, but again, since one of our major, major things to work on is mindset and not getting all upset if you like kind of go off plan. I'm not going to get upset. Today is Monday. We're going to get back on the five and one. I got 12 days to get to my vacation. So we're just going to get right back on the five and one. We're going to do a perfect job this whole week. We'll weigh in on Friday because I ain't touching the scale with a 10 foot pole. And some days that's just a good thing to know too. Don't step on the scale if it's just going to piss you off. Push it off a couple days. Don't push it off forever because that's not good either. But give yourself a couple days. So we're going to step on the scale closer to Friday. Just going to get back into a good five in one. All right. Well, you know, pretty much like normal. I get some iced coffee, some ice. I got a mocha shake in here. That's how we're going to start our day. Um, I got our water, run over to school, get things started, and I'll see you at school for fueling two. All right, uh, we got our movie assigned to our first period. Not quite the way we wanted. We wanted to show it to the kids, but we had some technical difficulties. But luckily, it's a free documentary, so the kids are going to just watch. Nova decoding the weather machine the first hour. I had the tech guys up here. It's all fixed so we can watch the second hour together. That is exciting. All right, I decided to make um, a second shake, very similar to the first one. I had some dark roast iced coffee in the fridge at school, mix it up with the mocha shake. We're gonna have this for fueling two today. Hopefully we have an easy time getting back on track after the Easter debacle <laughs> that we're not going to beat ourselves up over. So there we go. All right, I'm going to uh, get some grading done and I will see you for fueling three. All right, got a bunch of grading done that really needed to happen. <laughs> it's a little bit of procrastination on my part, but I finally got it done. Uh, getting ready to eat fueling three here. We're gonna enjoy these jalapeno poppers. Let's see, the last time I had these, they were pretty stale. So I'm hoping this bag's better. Hmm, better. Okay, the last ones were like, I don't know, weird. Um, sometimes it's just a bad bag. Sometimes it's a bad box. That's the worst. Cause mostly I really like the crunchers. And so when you get bad crunchers, it, mm. It's no good, but these are gonna be good. All right, I'm gonna start my honors bio class. They gotta watch a little video, take some notes, and then we're gonna do their lecture in a little bit and figure out what we're doing with AP Bio to end the day. And I'll see you back here for fueling four. All right, finished up my school day, managed to talk to a couple kids about their grades and getting some makeup work done so their grades can come up a little bit. That's pretty good. Now we're gonna enjoy this raisin oat bar. Getting back on track to the five in one really needs to happen, so that's good. Um, again, you know, if you overdid it yesterday, it's okay, just make better choices today. So I'm gonna enjoy this. Cinnamon raisin bar. Figure out what we're gonna do for the lean and green when we get home. I gotta wait for hallway duty to be over, then I can leave school. <laughs> so I'll see you at home. All right, home from work. Uh, took tomorrow off from work because we're gonna have the rug guy come and fix the office. So that's exciting. Um, we got one more serving of the spaghetti squash and the turkey that I mixed with a little bit of the marinara. So this is what our lean and green is for dinner. Mm. It's good. 
It's not as exciting as an Easter feast, but <laughs> it's more likely to get me into my little summer clothes that I'm going to wear in about 12 days. So that is good. Gonna watch a little bit of TV, make a to-do list for tomorrow. Um, and I will see you back here in a little bit when we figure out dessert. All right, for dessert tonight, I got a little creative and I turned the brownie into a waffle. And then I took about a tablespoon of the PB2 with the cocoa and I just barely put enough water to make it like a frosting. So I frosted my waffle. <laughs> so this is pretty exciting. So this is my pretty exciting, but completely on program waffle plus snack. So one fueling, one snack. Um, brownie waffle with peanut butter frosting, huh? That's pretty exciting. All right, I am going to enjoy this and then I'm gonna like glue my mouth closed for the rest of the night because I'm done eating. All right, uh, I get some coach training tonight. I'm gonna get on and enjoy that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if so, drop some comments down below, hit the like button and I will see you tomorrow.